Welcome, Mary Taurus, to your August Asher Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. It's, just want to bring out there that it's a very auspicious month this month. We do have the Lion's Gate on 8-8, um, which is activated at this time. Won't be open until actually eight, the 8th, right? Uh, but then we'll be closing down the 12th. Um, and then, of course, we have that blue moon on the 19th. So guys want to make sure you're really putting in those intentions. Uh, Lionsgate's really good for healing, spiritual growth, getting your manifestations out there. Okay, I'll be doing that reading next. So watch for that. And then, of course, we have your favorite Mercury retrograde coming out, um, which will be between that end of Leo season going straight into Virgo season. So watch for those videos. All three of those videos will be up soon. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Let's just move some of these over here. Oops. I was doing some personal readings that got a little messed up. Okay, let's get in here. Best messages coming out for the month. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. Best messages coming out. We have the sixth house. Some Virgo energy with some Mars. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. So having that a Mars energy coming out. This is your physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit. Coming out with that, we do have that Virgo energy. The energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, humble, with a dim discriminating, excuse me, diligent and painstaking air. Funny, I messed that up on both videos. I did another video that had uh, the same thing and did the same thing twice. Okay, sixth house, the work, health, and duty of your life. Okay. So getting straight in here. Get be busy over here. Best messages coming out, going straight to the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. Hmm. Seeking a little peace over here in the very beginning of the month with some control. daydreams and decisions which is good because you know we have like I said you know we have that uh, lion's gate opening up definitely getting your intentions going daydreaming visualizing what it is you truly want within life um, it does look like in the very beginning it's going to be a little slow um, a little slow comfortable a little easy just stay a little relaxed okay doesn't look like it's gonna move a whole lot right now looks like there's a lot of relaxed energy going on just using your patience it's a good time to meditate keep yourself out of the limelight it doesn't look like you're in the limelight at this time either it looks like you're just kind of just chilling relaxing at this time but yet keeping yourself in complete control of the situation as you're making some decisions and of course, visualizing. So yes, there it is again. You can't say you weren't being peaceful. Definitely feeling the peace, resting, recovering, recuperating from that, you know, fast paced uh, July that we just went through. Keeping yourself in control. You might be around someone who is jealous, overactive imagination, unpredictable unreliable someone around you you could be jumping at the gun and you're just like i'm using my patience i'm keeping myself at rest at peace at this time okay just keeping myself in kind of a solitude place i'm not going to jump into your drama it looks like somebody wants to be a little dramatic with you cause disappointment uh with the daydreams and decisions it's like you're playing it small you're just completely relaxed you're just doing what you want to do keeping yourself away from obstacles 
um, at this time. So it does feel like there is someone around you who wants to cause some problems. Maybe they've already caused problems and you're removing yourself from that situation um, and keeping the, the peace and calm within yourself. Or maybe you're even keeping the peace and calm within um, maybe the home life or the sixth house itself. There could be something going on at work. You know you're in a band and that can also be the sixth house because that could become a hobby maybe it's a weekend hobby or something and maybe you're having some issues with a band member and maybe they're causing you know some issues or something of this nature someone around you is causing some issues okay when it comes to the sixth house or you may be taking yourself away from someone and going and playing it small and keeping yourself in the sixth house of hobbies I'm going to go and exercise. I'm getting out of this house because you want to cause a ruckus. You see what I'm saying? So take it how it resonates. Every, you know, it could be a little bit different for everybody. Um, in the mid-month, you definitely have the clarity of belief. You're definitely seeing something else going on. This is where you are seeing things and new opportunities. Um, there could even be new opportunities of um, the way you're, someone is uh, communicating with you, transforming because you're confronting the situation. You might be confronting them. Okay, as you share love, share ideas, um, bringing back the love, okay, and you might be, you know, now that they've calmed down, things have calmed down a little bit, or you may be dealing with someone else, okay, that you're just bringing the love in. Maybe you're going on some weekend places like your favorite restaurant, things like that, going to the movies, right, sharing the love with someone else, maybe you're taking the kids out, right, so... There's that imbalance, though. There is something definitely imbalanced when it comes to the situation. So it does feel like there is someone around you who does want to be excessive. And it's like you are definitely trying to, you're having that clarity, that understanding. You might even be speaking this to them. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to keep my tongue to myself anymore type of scenario. Um, but yet it does feel like you are still removing yourself pretty much from that situation and traveling forward somewhere else. You might be definitely traveling Maybe you're leaving them behind um, and actually traveling, right? Hey, if you can't behave at the gym, I'm not going with you anymore. You're embarrassing me, right? Type of scenario, um, or you complain too much. Something is going on. Uh, you might be going with someone, and maybe they have an alcohol problem, and they just always seem to be drinking the cups too much. It almost feels like for whoever I'm dealing with over here, right, there's a, this energy that's coming up where it's like you're embarrassing me. I don't want to be around this anymore. I'm going to take something, I'm going to take someone else with me or I'm going alone. Um, I'm going to go share my love somewhere else or with other people, um, right? I'm choosing from the lesser of two evils. I'm bringing these two friends with me and I'm leaving you behind. So it does feel like for a lot of you, you are releasing this situation completely because it does feel like I backed away over here. Then you come back, but you're acting the same way. So I'm definitely not dealing with this. Um, you could be going on a short distance travel, okay, that might be able to take over the long weekend together. It feels like there's a, some kind of togetherness going on for some of you, but you're leaving someone else behind, or you're just getting out of that situation, right, and saying, hey, you know what, I don't want to deal with them anymore, but I need a vacation. You know what I mean? Like, I need a vacation, um, right, I'm turning off my phone, you know, they can't talk to me anymore. Um, leave me alone, I'm going on vacation. So definitely there's that control again, though, where you had the control once before. Okay. So take that how it resonates. So it does feel like no matter what, it, it's, it's pretty calm, but it also feels like you're in this place of moving around within the sixth house and doing things that make you happy. But like, you know what I mean? But it feels like there's somebody who's, literally kind of on your nerve or they need a lot of attention or something's going on like that. Okay. It's even a good time to meet someone too. You could be meet, you could definitely be meeting a Cancer Scorpio. Okay. You could be definitely meeting with them, going out on a date, something like that. Maybe you're getting away from someone else, but you're taking them to, you know, you're having a good time, right? Doing new hobbies, new things together, making new plans, something like this. 
Where's that love too? What did I just say? Soulmate connection. Boom. Don't tell me it's not. That's the lovers with the two of cups together. So embracing yourself and healing as you have this soulmate connection coming up, which is, you know, and definitely moving on from something else. Um, definitely if, it, if you know it's not a person, then it's definitely the coming together with some kind of passion within the sixth house where it feels like, it does feel like you and this other person though, no matter what, have this passion together. So maybe whatever your sixth house, maybe you like to garden, maybe you like to do the small trips, maybe you like to, you see what I'm saying? You like to do the same kind of things. And this is very healing for you though, to have this person around you. Could be a Gemini. You're dealing with somebody who's very manipulative and you're definitely trying to withdraw from that situation, accept the change and the sacrifice that you do not want to be around that person anymore. Okay. I do have Sagittarius for that person. I have Sagittarius Virgo or a Pisces. Okay. Of course, this is going to be around that Mercury retrograde. So, be, you know, just be aware of that that you definitely have this kind of like where they feel like they want to come back together with you. They feel like they've kind of lost their way. They're trying to, you know, um, tell you that they don't want to let you go as you're letting them go. But you're also feeling like, you know what, I don't want to be overcommitted to this anymore. It's too overwhelming. Um, so it does feel like you are um, holding back, hesitating from even taking any conversations from this person. It's almost like I've said my part. I've said what I was going to say, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay. Um, with this person over here, if you have this other new person coming in um, that you're, you know, getting along with very well, it does feel like there's this peanut butter and jelly type of effect over here, which is a soulmate connection, right? It's kind of like, you know, we're really doing a good job. They, they fit nicely into my life, um, even if it's not a, a romantic soul soulmate it could you know what i'm saying it could just be platonic it could be somebody that you can really work on the situation with and it just feels like we really work nice together and this you know as i'm cutting this other person out it's almost like it's like the swing door effect it almost definitely feels that way it's so crazy but it feels so fast um it just feels like i'm getting rid of this person and as soon as i get rid of them they come in or as soon as i really started backing off from that person, this new person came in. Something like that, it really does feel that way. It's kind of weird. Or maybe you've known for a while you you needed someone else. And it's almost like the universe said, here, here's this new person coming in with the chariot. Um, and that will allow you to cut ties with this person over here so you don't have to feel like you need another workout partner or you need another band person. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like it was swing dooring so fast, but it was almost to the point where it was like, good because now that you know now it's like especially in a band because it's so easy to say i need a new guitarist because this one's always drunk and he's always acting like a fool but i really need something you know somebody to work this out with um it really does feel that way when it comes to the sixth house i really need this this commit uh, somebody who wants to be more committed to this situation because it really doesn't feel i know we have a lot of love over here but the love to me in this reading seriously is more it feels more platonic and it feels more like this is the person that I need um, who has the same passions that I have. And we will find soulmates. Not all soulmates are, are have to be love, right? Because we have our soul sisters, our soul brothers, our, you see what I'm saying? The people that we, you know, we all soulmate really 100% means, my friends, doesn't always have to be on a love thing. It just pretty much means, and this is where the meaning always gets destroyed, means my soul knows you from past life. My soul knows you from the other side, okay? It could be one or, or the other or both, okay? It doesn't always have to be a love situation. I think throughout the years, people have really just dedicated their, their ideas to, that's my soulmate and we're so in love, but it doesn't have to be that way. Right, when soul is talking about a soulmate, it means somebody that we might need that we're either learning some kind of karmic with, right? Whether it's good karma or bad karma. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of things going on over here, right? And that's really what it feels like. Like, they're coming in and they have the same passions as I do. 
you know, and it's time for them to come in and have this commitment because they want to be commit committed to the same things I'm committed to. And it just feels like your soul's like, whoa, but I know you. Hey. <laughs> right? So there definitely will be this tower moment that it feels like with this other person, which I do believe could be a Sagittarius, um, as this, we're going to say this Cancer or Gemini comes in. Um, and the other person could definitely be a, the person you're trying to get rid of could be a Sagittarius Virgo or a Pisces. The person I see coming in could be a Cancer, Gemini. I think I said in Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio. But I do feel like um, there's definitely going to be this sudden change no matter what. Where it's going to have this tower that's striking um, at this time, but it doesn't really feel like the tower is really going to 100% really hit that mode until the end of the month um, when everything just kind of flies together, right? It just really begins. Oh, it's almost like they're having this sudden insight. And it's kind of crazy because it feels like they're, it's like the universe is bringing this tower in, but it's almost at the point where all of a sudden they have the perspective. It's almost like they have this understanding. Oh, wait, you don't want to be with me? You want me to really leave? Oh, you're ignoring me? And it was like, yeah, um, that's what I was trying to do this whole time. <laughs> you just, it's almost like they get this sudden awareness like, oh, you really are trying to get rid of me. Or, oh, you really don't want me around. And it's kind of like their wake up, like, aha moment. But I think for some of you, it's going to kind of throw you, unless you already know that they're kind of like, whoa, they don't get this, right? But I think the way they're going to say it out of this super shock and almost like playing victim, I think it's going to kind of throw you for a loop. Um, because you're going to be like, wow. Because it just feels like it's over, kind of over the top. Right? It's like, okay, great, I get it that you don't really understand, but wow, the way you're going to come to me. And that's when the tower is really going to fall because it feels like they they just don't feel it's justified. They don't feel like anything that you're doing is right, so they're going to come very com you know, combative towards you um, about this situation where it's kind of out of the blue, right? Because I think... Maybe it was just because they just thought, you know what, fine, we just won't be friends for right now. And you know what, we'll just wait for everything to settle down and then I'll come back. But I just feel like they don't get it, so it's going to kind of be a mind blow. Okay. Alrighty then. So otherwise, uh, on the good note over here, though, in the sixth house, I mean, I see a lot of beautiful things. I mean, really, that's coming towards you. I mean, besides this person, you know, that wants to be kind of extreme. But on the other hand, there's some beautiful pieces over here. Some of you are going, you know, you're going to go, you know, traveling. You're going to, uh, you know, get together, going to do a lot of passionate things together. Um, it's just very passionate and a lot. Yes, there's a lot of travel. Yeah, see a lot of travel, a lot of courage and a lot of of passion. I mean, it's just really you just, you know, and like I said, it's kind of crazy because it's kind of like you're still in kind of a chill mode. But I think that's what the, the problem is in some ways. It's like you're so kicked back. I don't want this. And it does feel like, it. you know, last month was a little tidy, right? It had a little bit of ups and downs um, for some of you. So, you know. And now it's just like, I just want to build something, work together, and just be in that harmonious place. Okay, I don't want to deal with this anymore. So definitely feeling like you're now getting the transformation that you really, truly want and ending that cycle for the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So you're just really going back on this new venture of where it is you truly want to be without having to feel so stressed out anymore because you're just like, I'm putting the stress behind me, confronting what it is you need to confront. And I love that because you this is the Moon card versus... The chariot. So you have two can cancer cards here, right, that are just like sitting on top of the, each other. So we could only imagine that being that this is the mid-month, it could be right around, you know, could be right around that blue moon, right, that you're just kind of like looking at it going, okay, what are we going to do here, right? <laughs> How is this going to work out? So I do feel like the blue moon is going to have something to, um, to help work out this situation when it comes to really confronting this situation, 
it's really going to give you back that a lot of movement and a lot of action, a lot of power um, when you're talking about the chariot. And this will actually help you also on that journey that you're really looking for. So it's kind of like, mm, okay, I'm fine now. So I do feel like that blue moon's really going to be a real big helper for you guys. Okay, until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.